Hi guys, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building my minimalistic villa. This is going to be a luxurious villa with two pools and especially a minimalistic interior. I tried to do a minimalistic exterior as well, but I did not just want to make a box and I kept on adding things. So I don't know how minimalistic it really was in the end but i still decided to go with just two colors for the exterior to keep it a little bit more simple i wanted to go with a white and with a gray and yeah especially in the interior it will be minimalistic but you can see that later on in this video i decided to do this minimalistic house because i wanted to challenge and restrict myself a little bit if you saw any of my other videos i love using clutter shells and especially plants just everywhere throughout my entire builds and on the exterior as well i love using the landscaping tool a lot of uh, rocks a lot of trees everywhere that's why i really like building tropical builds because i can really make it look overgrown with a lot of palm trees and yeah i wanted to restrict myself a little bit from that today so that's why i decided to give this whole minimalistic thing a try and yes yeah, well with the landscaping i still really wanted to use it landscape Landscaping tool. I always use a landscaping tool, only not when I'm building in some, you know, like a penthouse, for example, when I'm building on an ocean lot. But yeah, when the lot asks for it, I really love using the landscaping tool. And I wanted to do it over here as well. And I wanted to use some rocks here too. But I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple and the whole environment here was very fitting for it. Because I think I already said it, but this area reminds me of the Hollywood Hills. I think it's totally based on the Hollywood Hills and that's why I could go for, yeah, not that much of or overgrown area i could go for a couple of palm trees and rocks and a couple of plants but of course you can see that later on as well i'm trying to make the minimalistic shape over here but as you can see i did a lot of terraces i used a lot of pillars and i just kept on adding things but i still yeah wanted to make it look interesting on the exterior so that's why i'm doing that but yeah in the end i as, as I already said, I just wanted to make it look interesting and that was kind of my struggle and again it was a fun struggle But that was kind of my struggle with this build. What's really the difference between just simple and plain and Minimalistic and I googled it of course and basically the answer is that minimalistic is a style choice and Simple and plain is something totally different but yeah, that was kind of my, my struggle here. So I'm very curious what you think about it and how you think I went here. I discovered a new thing during building this and I just did it, but I wanted to explain a little bit about it. And maybe you know about it already, but I just discovered it while I was building this. Normally you cannot attach foundations from different heights against each other. And it's the same with rooms, when your rooms are having different heights you cannot attach them to each other it just doesn't work in the game and yeah it's a restriction and it would be amazing if they remove that this uh, yeah restriction i think it's not possible in the game to remove it because otherwise they already would done it i think but yeah it's kind of a restriction and i'm always struggling a little bit with it and there are a couple of ways to go around that oh just on the I want to tell a little bit about it too. I will come back to that foundation thing later on. I wanted to place stairs over here or the illusion of stairs. And I used these stone slabs from Spade for it. Like it looked there were stairs leading onto the pool. I thought it was a cool effect. But let's go back to that foundation thing. But I found out that if you place a pool just next to a foundation, you can raise the pool up to a different height than the foundation is next to it. And then of course you can use different foundation types on that pool. And that way you make it look a little bit more playful, a little bit more interesting. And that's what I did here as well. So that's why there are different levels of terraces here. 
I just used the pool as you can see and and uh, at some places where I use foundations and they looked like they're attached to the foundation with the other heights they're just one square from that foundation with the other heights and I just placed the same floor tiles that I used on the foundation on the ground next to it as well and in that way yeah it looked like these foundations were attached to each other so that's really the method that I used here but it would be amazing if they changed it up in the game and if we could really attach these foundations next to each other with different heights. But talking about changes in the game, I just saw on Twitter that someone, I don't know who it was, I don't know if anything is confirmed, but that somebody uh, confirmed something about that they're working on a new Sims game and that it may will be a multiplayer option in it as well and oh man i'm so curious about it and i think we have still a lot of content coming to the sims 4 i think there will be a lot of new game packs coming in the future and of course it's very logical that they're working on a new game while this game is still running I think, of course, I think they're working on The Sims 5 for years now already. And I really hope they will go in a realistic way with The Sims 5. Of course, there is a yeah, difference in style, but I always try to make my builds as realistic as I can. And I really hope with a new Sims game, they will go that realistic way as well and not too cartoony. But that whole multiplayer thing, the option of a multiplayer, I really hope that doesn't affect the quality of the just single player game. I just hope they put all their efforts in just that perfect Sims single player game. And yeah, that multiplayer is not really a thing that gets me really excited, but, but I think there's something to do with the fact that I'm a pure builder as well. And yeah, there are some cool options with multiplayer too, because if you're just playing with your household in your game and you can visit the household or the sim from your friend that is playing the game as well, of course, that's amazing. And as I already said, nothing is confirmed yet, but I was thinking about the whole multiplayer thing and I'm very curious what you think about it. So please let me know in the comments down below and what you think about a Sims 5 game and if you want to be if you want it to be a realistic style or a cartoony style, I'm very curious. And I still think, I, I think we still have at least one, maybe two years left in The Sims 4. But it's fun to speculate a little bit about it. But let's go back to this build. I just did a landscaping here and yeah, I wanted to keep that minimalistic as well. And I think I already said it, but I still wanted to use a landscaping tool. I think one of my my builds are just not complete when I'm able to use that landscaping tool and I'm not using that landscaping tool. I just wanted to do it. But I did not want to make it overgrown this time. So that's why I decided to use these palm trees. These palm trees are just base game palm trees. And normally I always use the palm trees from Island Living. I think they're a little bit more realistic and yeah, just prettier. But I used the same palm trees as you can see in the world surrounding the lot as well. I thought it looked, yeah, more realistic, so that's why I did it. I made just, oh, we're onto another thing now, but I just made an area in the ground. I lowered an area down where you can sit and I will place in benches over there later on. The thing that I did here, did there, I made a foundation there and I removed the middle square of the foundation and then I lowered the ground down with the foundation too. And then I used floor tiles on that ground here to make the gap in the ground. And later on, as I already said, I will place in couches there as well. I was kind of thinking about placing a jacuzzi there, but I thought, yeah, jacuzzi is it really minimalistic it was kind of difficult for me because what's really minimalistic i think it's a simple not really simple no i really don't know what's what is what it's really is so but i thought uh jacuzzi wasn't that minimalistic so that's why i didn't use it there the fountain that i used over there next to the palm trees in the middle of that kind of smaller second pool it's more like a 
fountain right now especially because i use a debug item to make a little bit of a rim all around the pool i thought it looked a little bit more realistic so that's why i did that but yeah i placed the fountain in it's an orb and it's a from the spa day pack and i thought it was fun to just use one orb over there because they're all straight lines here especially or not especially but for example the light that i just placed in it's from spa day not from spa day it's from dine out i'm sorry struggling with my words but it's from dine out and it's huge and i sized it down a couple of times but it's just a square and i kept yeah a lot of straight lines everywhere and i thought it was fun to just place in that one orb to make it look a little bit more playful the lights that I used here, these stripes, they came with a spa day as well. And the other ones on the wall, they came with get together. And the art that I used on the wall here, that's actually an item that came with the fitness stuff pack. The fitness stuff pack. I think I never really used items from that pack. It was the very first pack I got? No, it wasn't the first pack I got, but it was a, a pack that I got when I purchased another pack and it was like a free pack with it. And yeah, I don't know, but I never really used the items, especially because there are so many amazing like fitness equipment in the spy day pack as well. And they're way more modern and look way more beautiful. But I thought that art on the wall there, yeah, it was kind of minimalistic so I thought it was fitting for it so I could once use the fitness pack over here and I think you can almost make a drinking game out of this video how many times I've said minimalistic so far but yeah with a minimalistic house you cannot really avoid that word with the uh, furniture on the exterior I wanted to go with white and yeah, with, with the colors on the exterior I wanted to go with the grey and white to keep it a little bit more minimalistic yet again. I tried to do a lot of different colors. I tried some things with black and with the other, uh, with brown and with wood colors, but I still thought with the gray and with the white was the most fitting for it. But we're onto the interior right now, and here we're on, we are onto the kitchen, and yeah. Over here as well, I still was doubting about what's really just plain and empty and simple and what's minimalistic and what's really the difference between it. But I try to keep yeah, it as minimalistic as possible. I use these spa day counters over there, the black ones, and I think they're very pretty. And I combine them with the island living counters and I made this kitchen island with these island living counters. And especially I wanted to use them because I wanted to go for a black and white and gray color scheme in the interior. But I wanted to incorporate a little bit of color as well. And I did that in these gorgeous faces over here. I'm not very sure if face is the correct word in English. In Dutch it's just fast. So I think it's face, but I'm not sure. These gorgeous faces and this, yeah, these island counters. Yeah, this, this white, uh, well not white, this light wood color. I thought it combined well with the black and with the white. The bar stools that I used are from the Tiny Living Stuff Pack. And after talking about my least favorite stuff pack, the fitness stuff pack. Or I don't know if it's really my least favorite stuff pack, but I just don't use it as much. I think Tiny Living is my favorite stuff pack right now. There are so many of my amazing items in that stuff pack and a lot of versatile items that I can really use in a lot of different builds. For example, these bar stools. And later on, I will make a dining table with some dining chairs, of course. And they are from the Tiny Living stuff pack as well. And yeah. I just think especially because you can use these items in a lot of different builds and that's amazing and the, because they're so versatile so yeah I think it's my favorite stuff pack right now. I use perfect patio a lot as well but I think there are more pretty items that came with the tiny living stuff pack like these chairs. Uh, I was just talking about there from Tiny Living as well. The ottoman that I used to 
big black like box on the ground that came with a spa day and yeah i thought it was very minimalistic the same for the faces that i used on the table they are from spa day as well so actually spa day came with a couple of minimalistic items so that was fun I still wanted to place in these curtains they came with Get Famous and yeah, to make it a little bit more decorated, this gorgeous painting with the face on it, it's from the Moschino stuff pack and it's one of my most favorite artworks in the entire game. Later on, in just yeah, over here, I'm placing a television, but I will remove it later on because I thought it wasn't that minimalistic. But later on, on the upper level, I will make an area with a huge television where your Sims can watch television. And I think I'm going to cut off this voiceover by now. I think I said everything what I wanted to say. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. Only five minutes let left. And in the rest of this video, of course, you can see the rest of the interior. The bedroom, the bathroom. I made an office over here in the area where your sims can watch a television. I wanted to go with as less uh, rooms, separate rooms in this interior as I possibly could. I wanted to make it yeah, kind of open living. I thought it fitted the whole minimalistic thing a bit. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought about this house. And I hope you will have a great weekend if you're watching this on Friday, the day when I upload this. And I hope to talk to you soon, maybe in one of my next videos. Goodbye.